And I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. It's Hi friends, it's Ivy here. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing a video on my week of workouts. You guys have been asking for this for ages. Um, I'm not a workout expert at all. I'm literally still a work in progress. I've been going to the gym for almost a year now consistently so I'm very very proud of that and I kind of just want to share with you guys like one week of my routine and like how this has been incorporated into like my bulking phase so that I gained weight this year and everything. This is so crazy because this video is actually filmed in September but I kind of just completely forgot about it but now it is December. Really still hope that most of this is still relevant and everything. Um, I feel like I've also still learned a lot in the past three months so it might not be completely up to date but of course I will do more up to videos on like my fitness journey and everything and this is like constantly ever changing i'm not in a bulking phase anymore but yeah i hope you guys like this video Good morning. it is day four of my hair i was not gonna wash it this morning because i thought i was gonna go for a swim it's gonna be a toasty 32 degrees here in Brisbane. Apparently the pool's still closed, so I'm gonna wash my hair today. And you're gonna watch it transform from my straightened hair to like my natural wavy hair, which is gonna be crazy. So ready? Watch me transform in three, two, one. Ding. Look what adding a little bit of product does to my hair. Like this is insane. My hair is usually like the puffy kind of ways that are like really ugly. I don't know if it's just the humidity here in Brisbane. It's not even humidity. It's like really dry and hot here in Brisbane. Um, that makes my hair like super puffy, but oh my gosh, adding a bit of product and diffusing it makes a whole lot of difference. I'm just gonna leave my hair for a little bit, and then um, I'm just gonna get ready for the rest of the morning, and then we'll add some oil to it. Allow me to introduce myself. Who knows what dastardly crime might perpetrate next? He's a very clever arch criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim. I don't know. I don't It is 5.40 right now. I have left my family and I'm at the gym. Today we are doing back and buys. I don't know how much of it I want to film because I'm a little bit embarrassed to film inside. But I'll try to film what I can. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, you can probably hear music in the background, but I don't really care. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, we're gonna be doing dumbbell rows. We're gonna do three sets of ten. Basically, I'm just on this block and I have a nine kilo dumbbell weight, and we're gonna work out on the back. I'm trying to do this slow and controlled, not trying to do too much, too fast. One. Oh, next set. Ooh, that was not great. One. Two. Okay, not gonna lie. That was a bit of a cakewalk, so I'm gonna do 10 kilos. I'm gonna take a two minute rest in between, and then we're gonna go straight ahead into the 10 kilos. Oof. <laughs> 10 kilos. Okay, 10 kilos. Let's go. I feel like I'm going to be so humbled by this. Slow and controlled. Two. Oh now we move on to the weaker arms, so <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. Oh, that was not good for me. Nine. Oh my gosh. We have one more set, but that was really tough. 
I don't think my form is great right then, but you know, if you're not pushing yourself to that level, you need to be doing more. Okay, at this point, someone came into the shared room and I got really embarrassed to film, but honestly, that kind of worked out for the best because as you guys can tell, my microphone is not the greatest. We are also doing some bicep workouts on top of our back workouts. You really want to keep your core engaged and not swing your arms too much around like I was doing towards the end. I also did another back workout called the ISO lateral row. At this point, my microphone was dead and I didn't realize it, but I was trying to tell you guys that I did an ab workout on top of this one. I will link it down below if you guys want to try follow along with that one as well. I just got back from the gym. That was a really good session. I'm now going to have a protein shake. Well, it's not really a protein shake. I have this protein drink. It's a peach iced tea. I have this every single day. I'm addicted. It's basically this. It's um, from Women's Best. Clear Way Isolate. It's like a brand new formula and it's just basically like protein. Um, that's like a peach iced tea flavor. It's so good. And it's not creamy or milky or anything like that, like the other um, usual protein chips. <laughs> Another set of protein pancakes. Okay, so I just finished work and I did not film anything today. We are going grocery shopping and we are going to the gym, so I can film that at least. I'm gonna be doing glutes and I'll take you through my glute workout. My gym fit is, so this top is Princess Polly. This is from White Fox and this is a matching sweater, also from White Fox. This is from Uniqlo and these are the Apple AirPod Maxes. So let's go to the gym. Okay, hi. Oh, this is not a great angle. Um, I'm doing Romanian deadlifts. I'm a little bit shy. But we have seven and a half kilos on each side. Oh, okay, ready? These Romanian deadlifts are supposed to target your hamstring muscles, which is really good for glute building. You really know you're doing these right if you feel a stretch in your hamstring, and honestly, that stretch feels so good. If you don't know how to do these correctly, I would highly recommend watching a tutorial on TikTok or YouTube. The thing with Romanian deadlifts is that my feet are heavier, but my legs are taking. My forearms cannot, and my grip strength is really, really bad. I mean, I might take my jumper off, and then I'll use this as like a strap type of thing. Okay, we're going again. Okay, we're gonna try to check on my sweater. I'm gonna do this little trick. Essentially what you're going to do is have a slight bend in the knee, engage your core. Essentially the movement that you want to be doing is stretching down further enough that you are kind of pushing a door closed with your butt. And then you come back up, kind of like a bend and snap. I recently added this hyperglute extension to my glute workout. So this is like my first or second time doing this and I'm watching this footage back and I'm cringing at the form. It looks so, so bad. Please do not follow this. Watch a different video. But these are also really good for the glutes and then i'm gonna finish my glute workout with reverse lunges i'm standing on an elevated plate to make myself higher so that i get a bigger range of motion this is really good for the gains apparently the way you want to feel this in your glutes is by leaning forward a little bit once you finish your workout of course have as much protein as you can have a protein shake and some protein for dinner or lunch whenever you are working out this will really help your body recover Good morning it is 6 15 and we're at the gym again this morning. We're doing chest and tries, so let's go. I don't know if you can hear me because my phone or microphone is gone, but today we're doing reverse chest press. According to Arnie, he told me that this works out the lower part of your chest. Oh my gosh, this is so high. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Seven. Oh. This is so high. It's best to work out the under parts of your chest here. <laughs> Next, we have this torture machine. I absolutely hate this machine with my life. 
I don't know why I still do it. I probably should replace it from my program, but it's essentially a lot of hard work and not a lot of reward, as in I'm like not moving up very much, so I don't feel like it's very rewarding for me. But I do love Fridays because it's also tricep day and I love doing these assisted tricep dips. I go for about three sets of 10 reps. And if I feel like this is getting a little bit easier for me, of course I will up the weight or I will try to do more reps. Always really trying to push myself till failure or basically when it's like really really difficult for me to keep pushing because that's when the muscles will grow and then i finish my chest and tricep day with a tricep cable push down i absolutely look like i'm pushing it today look how hard i'm working for these gains oh my gosh i did not realize how attractive i looked right now your face better look like this when you're working out girl hello we just got back from the gym and of course i'm gonna have my protein pancakes i'm gonna have this for breakfast before i get ready for work it's another office day so let's go how i'm looking at the movie i don't think i've done a body update this whole video So I got ready for the day. I changed from my all black gym outfit to my all black work outfit. And this is what we're wearing. This top is from Zara and these pants are from Shop Cider. I got these tailored for me, like lengthwise and waistwise, but they're a little bit tight now. So I think I need to get new pants. Hello and happy Friday, friends. Oh my goodness. I have just finished work. Hope you guys really like this video. I always love hearing about like where you guys are at as well. So like let me know where you guys are at with your weekend journey and your fitness journey in general, where you guys are at with that and where you guys want to be towards the end of 2023. Crazy that we're like almost towards the end of the year. Ah! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in next week's video. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. They're both just at Ivy underscore Nicole with two E's. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye!